All right, so most of you know that Global currently is now fully updated at, you know, whatever it's sitting at before the next update. Now, I do want to talk about this because I've been getting a lot of comments on, you know, Twitter, on my uh, videos and stuff like that, just talking about what they should be doing at this point in the game. Now, I have listed down a couple things you should be doing uh, basically at this point for uh, Global before you get the next update. The first thing you really want to do is going to be is grinding out your units, like leveling up your units themselves. So, uh, currently my team the highest CP or CC I have is like 114,000 but right now it's not gonna actually show this full exact number right now I'm just saying 106,000 because the gear is kind of messed up but basically what you want to do is leveling up your character so right now as you can tell my team right now is level 70 65 and 60 so main thing I'm purpose uh, like you know actually working on is going to level all my units to level 70 now right now I have bond level 65 so I'm currently working on him to get to level 70 you can see that Melios is only 60 but you can tell like he's not really like something I'm focusing on the main three units I'm working on currently are the three you're seeing right here so the first thing you want to do is leveling up characters so at this point in the game if you guys are already caught up in story and you guys are pretty much at end game content for global currently you need to be leveling up your units so you want to focus on the main units that you feel like you will be using most of the time so that can matter on you know pve base or pvp base all that matters you know so currently if you're an actual pvp player you want to focus on units that are like green uh, jericho uh, you definitely want to get her up to level 70 you want to focus on getting green bond all the way up to level 70 which i'm currently doing right now um another unit you, you would probably want to work on um is going to be like hauser 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 is going to be very great to have as a unit to level up so you want to get this unit to level 70 you know really really fast as quick as possible if you guys can do that uh, king 100 percent king should be for sure a level up unit uh because he's just going to be great no matter what uh, he's very very useful so that's good to know and then you can also level up you know guild thunder for example so just level up your units because you're gonna need them for end game content for current global like pvp and later on whenever the new updates come out it's gonna be better for you to have a level 70 team so that's the one thing you want to do level up all your units to at least to set level 70 and of course you guys should know how to get them to level 70 so let's just say we go to bond right limit break the S S you know SSR pendants they will be a little annoying to get but this is what you're going to be doing so let's just say for SSR pendants right because other everything else should be easy to get the raids you should be doing every single day uh, but the books you know you can just grind out the book stages those shouldn't be hard at all like that should be really easy to get if you go into the SP dungeon you can you know see that you're gonna be getting your books from here as well as your gold and your SSR pendants. Now the SSR pendants, this is where it can be a little frustrating to do this, but if you actually get, you know, these orbs, this is a cool thing about the orbs. So you could buy them with your rare coins, but I wouldn't recommend that. Now, if you are playing every single day and you're getting your friend coins, you know, every single day, right here, just keep on claiming them, slowly get them up over and over again, right? And then later on, go into the coin shop and go ahead and buy this item. So you can see it's sold out because I bought it. You want to get those as much as possible, right? And then you just use those in the SP dungeon. So you can go ahead and get your SSR pendants, hopefully, if you get lucky enough. And just keep on doing those runs. I would recommend doing it in the gold run. Just because gold is the hardest thing to get in the game, you know? Just because it's so annoying. So just do it on there. SSR pendants, of course, you just want to keep on grinding out. That's something I can't even say, really. Like, that's just something you just have to keep on grinding. Now, if you really, really wanted to do this, I don't recommend this like at all but if you go into your item shop you can buy these dungeon things with gems but i do not recommend that that's just something you like if you actually whale out in the game and you don't mind spending your gems on you can do that but i literally am saying just don't do it it's just a recommendation if you wanted to try that and see how it goes for you but that's something you want to work on for ssr pendants just do what you can and everything else the books are very easy to get you already know in the sp dungeon by now just grind those uh book farm this farm books pretty fast uh these raids basically these raids you want to do these every single day do not miss anything when it comes to these raids so if you go to the boss battle right i'm currently doing mine uh, i haven't had the chance to do it today but uh you can see that i still have five other towns to do right when you do these you know just get your raids quickly as possible and then grab a friend or if you're in a guild just grab those kinds of friends and just keep on grinding out these raids. You will need these kinds of things later on in the game to level up your unit. So you might as well do it now 
so you don't have to worry about it later on so just make sure you can do that because that's gonna be a very big thing to level up your units so you want to get them to level 70 of course do what you can to get your units to level 70 like you need to get them to level 70 so the second thing you want to do while you're in end game content is working on, a, on equipment so uh, one unit I'm gonna talk about real quick is Jericho because I already have like you know gear sets on her uh, this is gear set right now I actually have better gear set on Elizabeth just because I had her using her so right here this is the most like craziest thing that you're gonna have to pretty much focus on now when it comes to gear sets you can focus on getting SSR gear sets because you will need to get Awakening Stone. So these right here, you know, I'm working on this gear set right here. You know, it's a full setup. Now, it's not going to be the best right now. But if you keep on playing the game and you just keep on understanding what to do, you will love level up these, you know, actual gears. So let's just say I want to enhance, right? You want to get these enhanced, uh, uh, you know, enhanced material. You want to get those. Now, to get that, you need to salvage. And if you know how salvage works, you have to go to DN, break down gear, and just let it go from there. But you want to focus on your gear. At this point in the game, you should have at least three SSRs on the left side, and maybe one or two on the right side, right? Currently, as you can see, I'm slowly working on my gear as well. It, I just don't grind the game as much as I should. But if you guys have a lot of time on your hand, you know, we're in the quarantine times right now. Just grind out the game. You want to get your units all SSR gear if you can but currently for now you know SSR on the left side hopefully on the right side just you know you see RC whatever you're running just keep on working on it just you should understand the game by now and how it goes but from here just grind out your gear uh, one thing you definitely want to do because you're gonna need for SSR gear awakening stone so you know if you go to DN because this is where we're gonna talk about the salvaging part if you go to DN right you, this is where you're going to want to just salvage stuff out, right? So you can see, like, this is how much I have right here. Now, once you salvage your, you know, your gear out, you know, basically, I'm only going to just throw these away, just for example. You're going to get the Awakening gem, uh, the awakening uh, or Enhanced Stones, right? Just for example. After that, you want to go to King, right? Go to King, go to this part right here, and then you just want to get up your level. So actually, right here, I would want to do this, right? And I can get five of these Awakening Stones. These five awakening zones can easily be used for SSR gear, as you can tell. If I go here and go into here, you'll see that I, you know I can level this up to five star and then just awaken it. You want to do that. This is how you're going to be doing this. Now, the good thing about this is that if you grind out your gear, you're gonna have to grind out certain things. Now, personally, I would say if you want the five star awakening stones, a really good thing to do is if you go into your battle area and go to equipment. You want to grind out these actual uh, sections in the towns because this is going to give you a guaranteed SSR, uh, you know, gear, right? But when you go here, you can also farm out the actual gear set itself, like the gear itself, in the own level. So if you go in here, right, you have a chance, a three percent chance of getting it. But even if you finish it, right, you still get the SSR gear after the eighth try on the level, right? So as long as you're just working on this, you should be good to go. You know, you get the chance of pulling it in 3%, as well as getting the, you know, at the last part of 8 times, and you get the SSR gear. And the good thing to know is that when you have SSR gear, the more you have, the better chance you have in here. So whenever you go into here, you have a better chance of actually salvaging this thing and getting the 5 star, uh, you know, awakening some. But what you want to do, though, is you do want to actually awaken your actual gear. So... Well, not fully awaken, but like level up. So let's just say I go to, you know, Slater. Just using it as a reference. And we go here, right? We equip it. So you want to enhance this, right? Five star. Or not five. Well, five. I guess you want to do it like to plus five. Not five star, but plus five, right? Let me go. Uh, well, I guess it's just going to do it by itself. Uh, let me cancel. I'll uh, let it just do three more times, right? All right. So basically... If you do this, this is actually going to give you a better chance to get uh, the SSR or the 5 star pendant, right? So it's going to be easier on you if you do it this way, just because you can get the boost on your gear sets, you know, if you if you want to break it down with, um, you know, a DN. So let's just say we have two of these, right? So if you actually if you actually go back, or actually, let me just take this off because I don't want to be on there. Um, if we go back, right, let's just say, let's just say this one. If you want to enhance it again, we'll do plus 5, right? You want to get it to plus five and then going to dn once you have a really good amount of ssr gear as you do the level ups you know every single stage in the equipment area 
then you can feed these to Dien and hopefully get a better chance of getting the 5 star Awakening Stone. You could get it lower ones, but I mean, it's still a better chance than just pushing S star gear into Dien and not, you know, get the right thing. So let's just say we have that gear now, right? Let's just try it. We go to Dien and let's just say we don't want to throw these two away. If we throw these two away, hopefully we have a chance of getting it. We'll see. So we got a, we got four of the four star, but think about it. The more you have for four star, right? The more you can get for the five star. Because when you go right back to king, right? Once you go back to king, you you need six of these to get you know if, to get to the one five star. But if you get four, you know that's super pretty good. And that was just for two of the SSR gears. If you have multiple, you have a better chance of getting this. So you want to do that to get more gear sets out. And when you have that. You can focus on getting your gear sets much better and much higher, you know, when you get their stars up. So that's what you want to focus on currently. So that's definitely another thing you want to focus on. Now the other thing is grinding out your stars, your awakening stars. These you definitely want to get your units to six stars. So what you want to do is grinding out chalices. So let's just say I go to Hauser, right? And you go to awakening. These chalices that you're seeing right here, you can see these right here, you need to grind these. So the way you want to grind it is going to the location, right? And you can see that these are going to be the towns you want to go to. So let's just say I go here. This is the boss part too. This is where your boss battles begin, right? So when you go into your boss battles, you want to go ahead and grind these levels out. So this is where I made that video of going overnight grinding. That's just where you loop the game overnight, you know, if you want to keep on playing it. This is where I would recommend a computer that can run uh, like Nox or Bluestack, for example. Grind this level out, right? Literally just let the game play itself and hope for the best with pulling these, uh, you know, 6% six, 6 chance of pulling these chalices. The more you have, you know, the better the chance you have to get your units up. So you want to grind out those chalices. So you want to do those as fast as possible. Do it every night if possible or just grind out throughout the day and get those chalices. Once you have those chalices, you can slowly start working on getting your units to have 5 star, 6 star and so on. So the more you work on your units, the stronger the units will get as well as the more CC you will get throughout the whole team. So you want to do all those things to get your units all the way up. So I, like I'm saying, working on it currently myself. So it makes more sense to just explain it the way I'm doing it as well. Now, as well as when you're doing the towns, you want to focus on actually doing all these towns, right? So you can get into your boss battle. So you guys have been seeing throughout this video, I've been getting about it right there. You want to do this grind, right? You want to go into it and get these wings, get the horns, all that stuff. You need to do those every single day. You need to do that because you need these for grinding up your units. So you want to do those, get the, get your units up like crazy, focus on your units now before it's too late and you're going to fall behind if you don't. So grind out those and then other things you definitely want to do because those are the main things you want to focus on and the main other thing you would want to do is focusing on food. So if you go to Bond, right? Now currently I haven't been doing this because I, like I said, I'm still focused on working on my units. But you want to start making food, grinding out food, for example. I'm just throwing random food together, right? And you want to make this, for example. You know, it's going to give you other things. You want to focus on making other stuff, like, you know, you want to uh, make fried chicken. If you want to make, you know, CC food and etc. Just for example, you want to work on those as much as you can. Food is what you want to do. So to grind out food, it's pretty quick and simple. If you go to your quest, right, and you do your daily tasks, for example, you can go into this one, right? Well, not you want to level that up, but if you want to like grind out food stages, all you would have to do is go to like one of the chapters, right? Let's just say you go into over, where would it be? So let's just say you go to chapter one, you go to Vanya Plains, right? And you go ahead and go here. You What you would want to do is the bottom ones, right? Because when you click here, you're going to get all this food. So it's a 100% drop, right? You would want to basically just farm out easy. If you do the other ones, you have a 10% drop of getting that. 90% gang of this one, but I, I don't see what's the point. You just do the easy one, right? Grind out the food right now. It's half half stamina. Just grind that out as much as you can. Grab all your food that you can and just do it in every town as much as possible because you're going to be getting a lot of stuff out of it. And food is very crucial. You definitely want to do that. Just grind out all these stages that have food stages. This one has only, okay, this one only has gear. But if you get what I mean, just grind out food. Grind out all the stages that you can get food from and then make food when you can. So once you do all that, that's basically what you should, be, you, you should be doing current game now. And then of course, the last thing is just current daily special mission, special dungeon. You wanna keep on grinding this out. Keep on grinding everything out in here. 
do your gold stages every single day. Your event stages, if you get lucky, you get lucky. I, this is the only thing I can't really say what to do for this part. But just grind out what you can, and you should be good to go for grinding out the whole game for now. So, once you guys get your units to level 70, that's the main thing you want to do. Then you can worry about, you know, focusing on other units that you feel like you should probably do it later on. But for focusing on the main units, you want to do that. Focus on your, you know, team that you feel like you're going to be using for PvP or later on PvE based. But that's pretty much all it is for, you know, end game current global version. If you guys did, of course, understand any of this or you guys need any kind of help, let me know in the comments below. Follow me on Twitter or just message me in Discord or anything like that. I'll do my best to help you guys out. Uh, but if you guys haven't already, make sure to join the Discord as well. There's a lot of people in the Discord that are very helpful. So you guys definitely need to check those out. And then, of course, we can help you guys out as much as possible. But hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. If you guys did, go ahead and drop a like on today's video. If you guys are new to the channel, you guys have already, go ahead and subscribe, guys. And the comment down below if you guys are excited for more Grand Cross videos. And hopefully you guys can understand what to do currently on Global if not, just let me know. I'll try my best to help you guys out. But that's mainly what you should be focused on. That's what I'm focusing on as well. It makes the game easier, you know, for later on in the game. But just focus on the main things, especially that gear. Personally, if you go into your battle, do your equipment stuff. Do this every single day for each one that you need, right? Whichever one you need. And then just keep on grinding those out. Because this is going to be very, very useful for later on. Because you can get a lot of awakening zones. And that's how you get your SSR gear higher up in your stars and so on. But that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Have a great day. And I'll talk to you guys next time.